Once again, and tonight we've got the Memphis Grizzlies playing against the Los Angeles Lakers. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg with David Aldridge on our sideline. much these teams run Clark the bench play could be big absolutely Kevin I mean with how much these teams like to get up and down and push it I think it's going to be one of those windshield wiper games so a bunch of guys could get some action tonight and a wide open look for Bain Tillman and the dunk to finish it off oh, and the second chance becomes a dunk we could feel over here she is such a good impressive play in the paint as it's all about persistence on the offensive glass you just can't ever give up on a play so the memphis grizzlies able to put the first points up on the board just five on the clock james kicks the russell a three-pointer no good Morant against Russell. It's Morant with the drive. Count that one. Watching Morant drive is like watching lightning move across the sky. If you blink, you might miss it. That was the 2K drive. As that move deserved another look. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. And the basket is good. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Morant. Floats one. And it's Russell with the rebound. And now in the final year of his contract, D'Angelo Russell trying to get back to that all-star level and the promise that got him that last four-year deal. Here's Russell. Davis with a screen on Morant. Here's Russell and the pass to Davis. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. And the Lakers get it back. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Well, Davis, one of the hardest working and best rebounders in the NBA, showing you great effort that time. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And after a lackluster performance in last year's playoff, Russell has some making up to do. Yeah, and the efficiency has been a problem. Now, if you're a player whose primary value is at the offensive end, you can't just be a volume scorer. Look at the offensive numbers. Grizzlies have made huge steps forward every year. Now here's LeBron. Boy, that burst of speed. James may be the fastest guy in the league. And because of his size and speed, he's a force when he turns the Jets on. Lakers shooting their first shots from the free throw line tonight.
good. James. The thing about LeBron's career, no matter where he's gone, he has impacted winning at the highest level. Remarkable. Free throws good for LeBron. For Memphis, they've gone three of five shooting the ball so far. Here's Morant. And that one is off. Nice D from Russell. Greg, the improvement since Morant arrived has been very steady. And the Grizzlies went from the 20th rated offense in his rookie season to number 16 in his second year. And then all the way up to number five last season. Ja has turned them into a powerhouse. Brooks misses. All the time in the world to get that one off. Morant against Russell. Launches a three. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Brooks outside. Morant against Vanderbilt. Here's Morant. He's guarded closely. Clock at four. Bain passes to Jackson. Oh, good with the triple. And it's Davis with the ball for the Lakers. Now let's go to Hall of Famer David Aldridge, who had a chance to talk with head coach Taylor Jenkins. I asked him how they're going to respond after giving away home court advantage in game one. The coach said, hey, that was the last game. That's in the past. We're focused on the present and simply executing to the best of our abilities tonight. But he did admit, Kevin, that another loss here would paint a very grim picture going forward. Back to you. All right, thank you, David. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. In terms of entertainment factor, can any current player top Ja Morant? I mean, we've seen Ja with some vicious in-game throwdown. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Aldama's checked in. Conchar comes in for Brooks. Luke Kennard, he's checked in for Bain. And Jones subbed in for Morant. the pass to Beast. Back to Hachimura. Mamba setting the pick for Schroeder. And yes, it's good. I mean, Greg, talking about the great John Morant, this guy is just flat out fun to watch. Well, Jaw's been known to go off for 50 on any given night, but he also looks for others dropping some nasty dimes. Morant has an insane combination of athleticism and skill. This guy can do anything. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. To the inside. And there's Schroeder. That's good. The assist by Bamba. Schroeder's got his second basket of the night. Memphis trailing here. Outside, Jones. Jackson, a screen on Schroeder. Jones with it. Bamba picks him up. Another shot. And too long on the shot. Los Angeles has gone 0 4 from three point land to start out. Looking cold from outside. James finds Beasley. With the teardrop. Here's Bamba. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Boy, Bamba, really a dogged rebounder despite his slight frame. He's got great length and timing, and his intensity is really impressive. Now here's Jones. Fires from deep. Bangs home the trifecta. Jones has got five points so far. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. James looking it over. 11 seconds left here in the first quarter. Six on the shot clock. Here he goes. 
There's the three. The shot missing. It's a tie game in Memphis. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. 14. This is we get going here in game two and taking a look at the Grizzlies performance here guys uh, what have they been doing or not doing you know I, I think they're going to be happy with how they played here early on I agree with you I mean they hit the ground running had a strong start to the game that they're hoping they can manage the rest of the way now Russell he's still scoreless so far in this one Pass to Hachimura. Over Brooks. And that one's good. Hachimura. Hachimura's got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for Los Angeles. Russell against Morant. Pass to Bain. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. The Lakers in the lead. Right here is a classic NBA question. Who's been the best franchise in league history? The Celtics or the Lakers? Come on, Kevin. You are putting me on the spot. But uh, mm -hmm. I go with the Lakers. Mm -hmm. More superstars over the years. I think that 2000s run with Kobe and company, that put them ahead in my estimation. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Lakers. Uh, they've been so aggressive, too. Going strong at the defense, looking to score off of that penetration. In addition to that, they've thrown their weight around inside tonight, too, thumping and bumping in the paint. A lot of their points have come from inside. And that one falls for Vanderbilt. Well, if there's one thing, Greg, that defines a modern NBA big man, it is mobility. And, and they've got to be able to move their feet and, and really play in space. Otherwise, they just can't stay on the floor in today's game. Vanderbilt hits them both. Oftentimes, Clark with Jared Vanderbilt, his impact isn't reflected in the box score. Yeah, you know, that's a good point, Kevin. He puts up solid rebounding numbers, but I think it's his defense, which is his greatest attribute. He's a lockdown defender, and he's a high-energy hustle guy who plays with a lot of edge and tenacity, and that has value on just about any team. Now, here is Russell. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And here is Vanderbilt. Let's the three fly. That one doesn't drop. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Morant passes to Tillman. Bucket is good. What a death pass by Morant. He finds a wide open man as quickly as anybody in our league. Now, here is Russell. Here's Davis. Tillman grabs the miss. And here's Brooks. He'll bring it up for the Grizzlies. Trailing by two. Morant against Russell. Nine feet out. And Morant gets it to go. Morant's got nine points. And it just seems like Morant is always ready to outwork the defense. A big effort pays off for him there inside. And that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. And you know, even though they didn't come up with the steal, that's still a nice defensive play. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Well, I think the more Russell looks to score from there, guys, the more dangerous he becomes. Morant surveying the D. Out to Brooks. A three ball. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got four rebounds in this game. Passes to Russell. Outside, Davis tries it from 19. Headshot off. Now the Grizzlies take it the other way. Vanderbilt against Bain. 
Now the pass to Morant. Here's Tillman. A jump hook. No good that time. Morant against Russell. Pass to Hachimura. From the arc. Aldama with the rebound. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Count it. Moran's got it all tied up now for Memphis. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. And the Lakers call time here. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Jackson, he's checked in for Tillman. Conchar comes in for Dylan Brooks. Williams, he's checked in for Bay. And Jones subbed in for Morant. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Here's James. Kicks it out to Schroeder. There's the triple. They get it back. And James gets it to go. James has got six. Boy, really nice play. LeBron showing real good instinct on the offensive blast there. Here's Jones. Good on the 13-footer. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Sets a screen and finished off by LeBron. He's so good at creating his own shot. He's just got an endless supply of moves. LeBron James. You know, you think of the Lakers leading up to LeBron James joining them. This was a team that struggled for relevancy. And even during Kobe Bryant's final seasons there, they still were a little below par for the Lakers. Good work shaking free of the defense and finding his shot. LeBron outside. That's good, and it's his fourth basket of the game. He's a strong four for six. And, and nice touch from the inside. I, I'm a fan of when LeBron just burrows his way inside and takes it back. Now here's Jones. Seven points in the game. Goes up again. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Dennis Schroeder. Memphis shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. Tyus Jones, two shots. And that one falls for Jones. So he makes both from the line. And Schroeder's got the ball here for the Los Angeles Lakers. Schroeder setting the pick for James. Easily outside. No good on the three. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Jones against Schroeder. Jones the pass to Williams. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. James dishes to Beasley. Unloads from 13. It's rebounded by Memphis. They come off a really big loss on Sunday. Yeah, for that loss, you can credit their defense, or lack thereof. Too many breakdowns on that end of the floor. Yeah, and that's really inexcusable. I mean, there's just no way that you can justify that. When you don't put the work in on defense, you're going to end up on the losing end. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Memphis out in front, up by two. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter.
Greetings one and all, the postseason drama we love and no disappointment here as it's a close game so far for the Los Angeles Lakers. Well, you have to like the work they're putting in on the glass, fighting for extra possessions, cashing in, especially with them hustle points. Playing with a lot of energy, making their coach happy, no doubt. Looking at this series for the Memphis Grizzlies, some would look at this game as a must win in the series. One of the keys to getting it done. For me, Ernie, it's all about protecting the ball, treating every possession like it's your last. Uh, defensively, you got to be extra hungry. Chase down every rebound and keep constant pressure on the shooters. Good tips from the experts. Oh, when no one's an expert. Anymore. I am. Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. Round one, thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. You have to like what you're seeing from John Morant. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. The Lakers trail. LeBron outside. No good on the shot. Nice D from Brooks. And for Memphis, they're shooting at 44%. Pretty reasonable. Morant passes to Brooks. Good D by LeBron. No one to blame on that one but himself. It looks like that. We've got to take it back. Russell, the three. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Russell's got his second bucket tonight. And you know, this has become a real weapon for Russell now, and it's because he's worked hard on this shot. And Moran gets it to go. And the Grizzlies lead by one. Neither side has relented a bit in this back and forth affair. And you can sense the energy in the building already as this game is starting to build towards having a terrific finish. Man, is it easy to remain in awe of the greatness of LeBron James Clark. This is a guy that just doesn't seem to age. It's amazing. Yeah, it's really one of the remarkable runs in the history of sports in my mind, quite honestly, Kevin, on and off the floor. We know he spends a lot of time and money to keep his body in peak shape. He yet is still not showing any real signs of slowing down. We know Father Time is undefeated, but I tell you what, LeBron is giving it a run for its money. There aren't many guys that can match LeBron when he's in a really good scoring rhythm. Asserting himself on offense is problems for the defense and good for his team. Now here's Moran. 13 points in the game. Payne for three. LeBron grabs the miss. LeBron's got his sixth rebound on the night. Loads it up for Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. There's no stopping that. AD is too long and strong to bother that alley-oop. Russell against Morant. Here's Tillman. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got five rebounds tonight. Games outside. From 15 feet away, the Grizzlies pull it in. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on it. This is it to Jackson. Here is Brooks. He's guarded by Russell. Jackson kicks to Brooks. Shot clock at six. Payne for three. That one, no good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Reeves the pass to Vanderbilt. LeBron against Morant. And such a physical player inside. LeBron doesn't fear contact on the way up. Lakers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Two 
Free throw good, LeBron. Luke Kennard, he's checked in for Dylan Brooks. He's off on the second. The Grizzlies trail by six. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Kennard with the ball. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Jackson dishes to Morant. Will it go? And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on D'Angelo Russell. Uh, the aggressive nature of Moran taking initiative and daring the defense to get physical with it. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Already embracing his role as a leader on this team. Morant brings a strong work ethic and winning mentality to this team. All free throws, good from Morant. Lakers lead by four. Schroeder outside. Davis setting the pick for Schroeder. That three off the mark. Memphis has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Here's Morant. And finished off by Morant. In just so many different ways, Morant can hurt you. Tonight, it's been with the score. Davis with a screen on Bain. Hachimura uses the glass to finish the lane. And the Lakers lead by four. Hey guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Morant kicks to Jackson. Morant against Schroeder. Morant drives in and finished up by Morant. And you know, we talk so much about Morant's athleticism, but his feel for the game equally as effective. Here's Bamba. Outside Davis. Shoots from 12. Tillman grabs the mix. And so Morant will bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. A two-point game. 109 left in the third. For the tie. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Here's Schroeder. Davis in the corner. Shot from a low block. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Davis has got eight. Boy, that jump shot of Anthony Davis has continues to evolve. Looking better and better every time I see it. Can't hit from in close. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. Morant against Schroeder. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jaron Jackson. That's foul number two for him. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Conchars checked in for Tillman. Williams comes in for Bain. And Tyus Jones subbed in for Morant. Now here's Schroeder. Bamba. And you know, we all know Schroeder can score now, but they're a nice assist to his wide open teammate. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. It's Jones on the win. One second left. You know, defensively, Anthony Davis might be the most versatile big guy in the league. I mean, this guy does a nice job not only blocking shots, but challenging shots as he did there. And so it's Los Angeles with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. Back to the action in just a minute. Well, 
it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. The Grizzlies trail by six. Jackson setting the pick here for Brooks. Vanderbilt with the rebound. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing wrong. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Now, here's Vanderbilt. Back to LeBron. Shot clock at five. Over Brooks. And it's James missing. And here are the Grizzlies now. Outside, Jones. Jackson, a screen on Russell. Right side, Jackson. Over Bamba. Offensive rebound. Off with the layup. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. And there's the pass to Reeves. James against Williams. And that one's good by LeBron. LeBron's got the lead up to eight now for the Lakers. For Memphis, they've gone 0-3 to start the fourth quarter. Jackson setting the pick here for Brooks. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And the toughness of Brooks on display. Not fearing contact when he's looking to score inside. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. They're still slashing and attacking the rim. And the defense yet to make the adjustment and keep the ball in front. I love the fact they've done tremendous work on the offensive glass. A lot of second chance opportunities as they've kept that ball alive. And he makes the first. And there's a flexibility to Brooks's game. He can play a specific role for you, or he can be a high usage guy. Really depends on what a team needs from night to night. Catching up on the changes for Memphis. Tillman, he's checked in for Conchar, and it's Bain in for Williams. And both free throws good for Brooks. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. LeBron against Brooks. Russell from long range. And the dunk by Bamba. Yeah, you look at Russell, and one of the things I like most about his game is this guy has great vision and passing ability. Brooks, the pass to Tillman. LeBron grabs the miss. James has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. And here's Brooks. He'll bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. Trailing here by eight. Bain looking around. Good D by James. For Los Angeles, they've gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Russell against Brooks. And the slam dunk by Russell. How about that dunk? I mean, you don't see that every game, but Russell looks to flush when the chance is there. Now here's Brooks. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Good D by LeBron. Vanderbilt, a screen on Brooks. James misses. The Grizzlies trail by 10. Now Brooks gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Bomba's got rebound number five here tonight. Brooks against LeBron. Grizzlies with the rebound. Jackson's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Brooks. And finally they hit one. Brooks has got four points this quarter. Oh, the balance Brooks has is impressive. Able to work through the defense and still capitalize. Timeout called the Lakers. Morant, he 
Davis checked in for Memphis. And the Lakers also making a change. Davis is checked in. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard the Lakers coach talk to his team. He said, keep grinding. We're in good shape. Things aren't always going to go perfectly. Don't let that slow you down. Let's just stick to what got us here. Kevin, we'll see if they can build on this lead. Okay, David, thanks. Now here's James. Pass to Reeves. Again, the miss by the Lakers. The Grizzlies trail by eight. Bain passes to Morant. Fires for three. Vanderbilt with the rebound. You know, to cut deficits, you've got to be making smart basketball plays out there. Taking care of the ball is not done by hoisting up bonehead threes like that. Now here's LeBron. He's yet again. And Davis is it in. Davis has got the lead up to 10 now for the Lakers. Even when the defense is stellar, Davis still able to score the ball. That's what makes him an elite talent. He can make hard shots look easy. Morant against Russell. They grab their own miss. Brooks the pass to Tillman. Six to shoot. Now here's Morant for three. The shot, no good. And the Lakers going the other way now. And guys, that's going to wrap it up. Fans are piling out the exits. Obviously a huge win here in game two for Los Angeles. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching any the breaks themselves. Yeah, and, and Kevin, not all about love. I thought their overall shot selection was better. And this is a team right now that is really playing the swank. Yeah, and anytime you can go up 2-0, you are in the driver's seat. They, they are riding pretty high going into game three. And something we've come to almost expect is greatness from this one. Such an overall great performance it was for LeBron. You can't look back at too many major moments in this game and not see his imprint put all over. And James drills them both. 54 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And then Moran slams it in. Right there, Morant practicing for the dunk contest. I see you, young fella. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth. James against Brooks. And it's slammed in by Davis. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. They're in good position here to ride it out. Uh, certainly. If they just play smart, this game's over. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. There's Russell with the three. Right side Davis. Pass to James. Here's Reeves. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in this series. Up now, Greg, two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. And that about wraps it up, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA Western Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David